First, let's take a look at the pressures of being a young parent in today's society and the support systems available. Michael Wynn has the story. Adolescents are becoming more sexually active earlier in their lives, but despite better sex education and contraception, teenage pregnancy rates are still relatively high. In fact, teenagers account for 4.8% of all pregnancies in Australia. It is still the case that more teenage women choose abortion over birth. Teenage mums have an increased risk of poverty, mental illness and substance abuse. Janine Cameron of La Trobe University is aware of the increased pressures that these women are facing. So I think that, um, that young families who are studying have to be admired for their commitment and their skill that they have. One of the things that prevents young mothers attending university is the cost of childcare. Fees that, um, that families would expect to pay can range anywhere from $101 per day to a dollar a day. And of course that will be all depending on their um, family and individual circumstances as to what they will pay. Government assistance is being called upon to relieve the financial pressures of childcare. I think in regard to government assistance, um, JET is uh, um, something that could be looked at by the government. JET is a government program to subsidise the cost of childcare for parents in either jobs, education or training. However, this financial assistance is only offered for two years. It would make more sense and be more helpful and less stressful for families if um, JET was able to cover their whole time that they require for their degree. Young families aren't just interested in cheap and accessible childcare. As Janine Cameron says, they also want to know that the care is good quality. Other important things are that, um, that childcare is accessible, that it is affordable, but also that it's high quality as well. A quarter of the La Trobe Centre's clientele are under the age of 25, suggesting there is still a high demand for childcare assistance. Danae Conway was only 19 years old when she fell pregnant with her first child. With no relationship with the baby's father, she is left to shoulder the responsibilities and pressures of pregnancy by herself. Danae, however, does not want the responsibility of having the child placed on her friends and family. I don't want them raising my child for me. That's not a childhood. The financial pressures of trying to support both herself and a child have made the prospect of young, single parenthood even more daunting. Because it's impossible for someone who's earning $17 an hour to be able to afford $10 an hour childcare and actually make a living. And it's stuff like that that impacts on my decision that I can't do this alone. Whilst Danae acknowledges the need for government assistance, she is also conscious that some young families could misuse the funds. They think that the government funding is just a way, something for them to get a new set of clothes or their new plasma. And if they put more funding into it, that would just increase the amount of people in a position where they can't handle it. And so I don't think they should put more money into it unless it was into stuff like childcare and food stamps and <coughs> stuff like that that um, doesn't directly hand them money but gives them discounts on things that they'll need. The pressures and demands on young mothers are growing. Social and government assistance are not completely effective, so managing both study and parenthood is still a struggle for young people. It would happen and I wouldn't have got the marks anyway. To that It wouldn't have worked out for me if I had stayed and studied. But I guess that's just me.